All right, food foresters, uh, we have two turkeys and a duck that we are going to be processing tomorrow. And the killing cones that I have are just not quite big enough. But I stumbled across a cheap way of making your own killing cones. I've seen some other homesteaders and I've done some research on the best way to make a killing cone at home and I've come up with a cheap easy way to make one and I'm going to show you how they did it and hopefully it will work out for us so first you take a cheap five gallon bucket this is just a three dollar five gallon bucket at Walmart and I am going to first by starting off cutting the bottom off of it and also I marked these lines. I marked the center line, measured out. Um, this is, I didn't actually measure it, I just marked it on a piece of paper. Um, probably about five inches on each side, and I drew a triangle up. And I will be cutting it across here. So I will be cutting the bottom and cutting this triangle out. So let's get started. I've never quite cut a five gallon bucket like this, so let's see how this goes. Any mess? What was that? <laughs> Cooper's like, what? Any mess you make, you're cleaning. Of course. <laughs> For Cooper. <laughs> Cooper out of <laughs> you okay, Cooper? Hello, you okay, Coop? No, calm no, down, no, calm no. Down. Calm down. All right, go get in your house. And now I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. It's a good thing we got Amy a new vacuum cleaner that I'll be using for the first time. Was well, not insinuating Amy was going to be going to be cleaning it. Oh really? That was not the insinuation. <laughs> I am not that stupid. <laughs> I might be crazy, but I ain't stupid. I don't want to be sleeping out there with the new goats. Oh, you'd probably like that. Wouldn't you? I do like the new ghost. <laughs> Alright, now what are you doing? Now I am going to take and cut these lines. Let's, let's do it like this. You want to this. put it on the ground maybe? That way it's... We got a little bit off the mark, but I think we'll be alright. Alright, now... Poor Cooper. <laughs> I am going to cut one side of this back because this is going to overlap like this. So I'm going you to need cut. To clean it up? Yeah, I'll clean it up. Or should you poke the holes in it and then zip tie it so that way it'll stay its shape? Well, I want to cut. And then you can cut the. I'm going to cut a good section of this out. Yeah, but wouldn't um, zip tying it and then that way it stays its form be better? Well, I need to get this part cut first so it'll tie it down. So you better it. use your magic marker. Where's your marker? I don't need a marker. You don't need a marker. Is that, a man, is that man talk? Yeah, that's man talk. <laughs> Cooper made it over behind me. Hi, Cooper. Uh, this is kind of what I'm looking for here. So 
something about like that. Nice big open. Now what you doing? Cutting this little piece of gonna sticks out there. I think he thinks he's the man of the house. Don't even, don't even call me. I know you, I'm, you're sitting back there with that evil grin. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what I'm talking about. I have duct tape. Yeah, I don't need no duct tape. No need no duct tape. I just need three hands. Well, duct tape will give you a third hand. Wrap it one time around. Then you can drill your holes. Get through both. Did exactly what I wanted it to do. Oh, it did, huh? Yes, it did. So, why are you zip tying it? Because that's how it's held together. goes there. It's kind of give me an idea where I need to be. Looks like you need a third hand. So how many more holes are you gonna do? A few. <laughs> how many is a few? Like what? Three? Four. Four. That should hold a turkey, wouldn't you think? Tilt it. I can't see inside. Dun da da da. And we still got the handle. So yeah, I don't know if that handle's gonna work or not. It might help. Well, we could easily hang it, you you know, put a hanger on the whatever we're using it on. I drill both holes. Oh, well, I want to make sure they're lined up. That's why I drill the first hole, put this through, and that holds that line, that, that way it's lined up for the next hole.
think we can just put one more right here. Yeah. And I think that'd be more than enough to hold it. I kind of wish you bought a couple more buckets. No. Maybe next time. We're only doing three birds. Well, when we go to do. Yeah, when we go to do all more. Turkeys. Yeah, we might want to get one or two more of these. Hoping this will be big enough for a turkey. Mm. I think it will be. I don't think we'll have any problems. If not, we might get some round trash cans. <sighs> yeah, Little no. round kitchen cash, trash cans. Mm-hmm. I can already see you're thinking about it. Some of those turkeys are big. Yeah, but the big ones we're keeping because we want to breed bigger ones. All right, guys. This is a $3 killing cone. Well, probably about 10 cents worth of zip ties. <laughs> or 25 cents worth of zip ties. And you can also hang it by the handle, probably, even, too. Mm-hmm. Well, no, because... It, yeah, you'd want to screw it to something. But this makes clean. It will make clean up a lot easier. Oh yeah, definitely. Hey guys, if you like that video, hit that like button. Remember that bell and subscribe. And if you want to see any of the other videos, check out everything over here.